Hey guys, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to tether a Android phone like I have um, here on my left and the iPod uh, to an iPod for generation right here and my laptop that I'm recording here. So, uh, first, we're going to start with the uh, Android and how to install it and connect it to there. Uh, so first, you're going to have to use the Android, get Wi-Fi Tether, free app. You go in, in the um, Play Store. Or search, and you can speak. Uh, you can say it or type it. Don't go. Wi-Fi tethering. It is. Click that one, and you click uh, free, accept, and install, and it will install. Once that is done, you can open it. Click Wi-Fi tethering. Then click portable Wi-Fi hotspot if you want it to go wireless. Then from there you can go configure and you can have it either open or the WPSK and have show password and put your password and then click save. Now we're going to put this Android phone to the side and bring up my iPod Touch to connect to it. Since it's already connected, I will. Ooh. Sorry about that, guys. I will. Uh, disconnect from it. So I'm gonna go forget network. Turn off, back on. There it is. So click on it. Since there's a password, I'm gonna type it in. I will come back. Click join. And it's joined. Click the blue arrow, and um, you will have it. Go home button, and let's see if it works. I'm gonna first go into the App Store. And click featured, and you will see it will work. It might be a little slow, but uh, it will work. There we go, it's loading up. Also, I uh, use Google. The first time I tried using Google, the new app it had to be open to so open it, and then after a while, uh, put it locked again, and uh, it should work. I'm gonna use a voice. Look Siri like. What is their current temperature? Put it up, say it again. What is their current temperature? It's five degrees in Montreal right now. What is the temperature for tomorrow? Tomorrow in Montreal, expect a high of 
four degrees and a low of zero. Uh, you can tell you what time is it? What time is it? The time is 4.24 p.m. What time is it in New York, New York City? The time in New York, New York, USA is 4.24 p.m. You might not hear it, but there's a voice. Uh, you can also ask, what's the temperature in New York, New York City? It's 11 degrees in New York right now. And, I don't know, uh, definition facts? Define definition. That's something with my Define, list. state, or describe exactly the nature, scope, or meaning of. Uh, also, um... When was someone born or something like that? Fact on them? When was Hitler born? Adolf Hitler was born in 1889. He's a very bad, 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 bad. Uh, well, who is the current president of the United States of America? Had before. Who is the president of the United States of America? Are you into fire? I'm gonna try. See? Uh, this also works. Try Google. And that is about it for now. Now, how to set it up on your PC. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to tell you how to connect the Android phone tethering to your PC. Since I don't have it now, uh, it's charging and stuff. Uh, I'm just going to do, like, improvise. So, it... Uh, with Google, it wouldn't work, and with, um, Twitter and Facebook, it would. So, I'm going to use my main connection, so, uh, since it won't work with Google or any other site besides Facebook and Twitter, you have to use Hot Hotspot Shield. Click on that. Then you click connect, it'll um, automatically, depending on your settings. <clears throat> and it's protected. Now it'll say, you'll bring this, and we'll say, you are connected and protected. Unprotected and connected. Mm -hmm. Access out, it'll always be in your systems tray or Google Chrome here. So now, if you would want to go to Google in um, with your type there, it will work. I'm just going with my main connection, but uh, I did um, do it uh, yesterday. I tried it and it did work. I'm going to put that video uh, also in. And um, yeah. And YouTube as well did work. So from uh, that, I will uh, see you guys in my next video. But first. Uh, like, it, like it up, it'll help me out a lot. Subscribe for more videos like this on uh, tech and related and how to do things. Um, and
and every, uh, all the links will be in the description down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Did I hope? Okay, see, now there's internet access. Okay, now I'm gonna go to a webpage and try to open it. I'm just getting a little slow now because of the um, recording. Check out the recording my work. See, now with Google, it won't work. But, sometimes if I try Facebook, it will. Last time I did, I don't know if it will again. See, uh, I did now. And if I try Twitter, see, it's working here. Try Twitter. Let's see. And it works with Twitter too. Okay, so now what you need uh, to make it work, if not the other one to work, is Hotspot Shield. Here, hotspot shield. So now you connect to the internet. It needs to be, and now it will connect. Next. Okay, so now it's going to connect, protecting entry PR, and protected. Verify secure network connection. Complete and secure network. Complete and secure connection. And it says protected. Now the my default web browser will also open and say you are connected and protected. Okay, there you go. Now, let's try Google again. And it shall work. Abracadabra. And it works. There you go. I can also search something. I can go to YouTube. Sometimes it takes a little time to load it. And then there we are. So guys, uh, thank you for watching. This was sort of a long video than I usually do. Uh, just step by step things on how to get um, uh, this uh, tethering working on your iPod Touch, uh, iPhone, and your PC as well. You might not need the hotspot shield depending. Um, I'll have also a link in the description for everything. Uh, like this video up, it'll help me out a ton. Subscribe for more videos like this. Um, and if you have a Mac, I'm not sure what to do. Try doing what I did or connect it through Bluetooth or uh, corded at the same time I'm charging it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.